Will home on Osprey Avenue be beachfront property in 15 years? Ringling College of Art and Design students are wondering about climate change and sea level rise. They're using creativity to open a possible window into the future. SNN's Nicole Soma Villa has more. If you've been to Lido Beach this week, you might have seen flags staked into the sand, but they're not for red tide. The idea behind this project was to help people visualize what sea level rise actually means. Ringling College of Art and Design professor Timothy Rummage leads the Rise and Run project. These two sets of flags, one at the current high tide line, and then one where the tide line will be if you have six inches of sea level rise. Student Ruzic Jovanovich says the cause is climate change. I feel it's a, a good way to talk about a problem so global and so um, huge and major for all of us. Because of melt of Greenland uh, glaciers and, and, northern, and other melt in the northern hemisphere, enough water come into the ocean and thermal expansion of that water to cause the overall volume of, of water, the height of the water, to rise about six inches. Pushing water up the beach. It's a very big distance from the actual um, like sea line right now. 280 feet to be exact. Rummage says it's happening in the next 15 years. The speed at which it's happening is um, not going to spare anyone. As for homeowners? If you've got a 30-year mortgage, what's sea level going to do in the next 30 years to ensure the asset value that you have the mortgage for and the insurance for? Rummage expects property value to decrease and day-to-day -day changes to affect beachfront properties by 2040. There's enough time for a conversation, but it's not that, uh, there's not enough time to wait to have the conversation. Reporting on Lido Beach, Nicole Somavilla, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. In October, students will be lining Siesta Beach again for another visual to demonstrate the change.